Hi there, this is Darren O'Neill from Darren's Tech Tutorials at darrenoneill.eu. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up SQL Server RDS on, on AWS. Okay, so we're just going to get started here. So pretty much, I can see I'm logged into my account. I'm going to look for, I'm going to look for RDS, and then I want to click RDS here, which will now take me to, to the relational database service page. So when this loads up, what I'm going to do is I want to click Create Database, that's going to click it down here. It takes what's from what's this block with create database. And I'll, I'll leave it at standard create. And I want to click on Microsoft SQL Server. I want to select Express Edition because it's um, it, it's the cheapest. Um, I'll leave it at SQL Server 2009. We'll call it, we'll call it database one. That's fine. Admin, I'm going to set a password. I'm just going to set it as password one, two, three, and then password one, two, three. Okay, let's make sure that we can see them. Yeah, okay, so it's password one, two, three, password one, two, three. Let's hope we've made the show, but that's okay. I'm gonna make it as small as I can. Okay, so that's okay, T3 large, uh, T3 small. Okay, store, it's gonna leave it as this, gonna leave it as connectivity. I wanna leave it in the default VPC, which is fine. Uh, I'll leave a default security group. I'm going to click no for public access because I'll show you how I'll access. I want to access it from a server that I currently have up in AWS. Um, for VPC security groups, I'll leave it as default and we'll check them in a moment. For availability zones, we'll click no preference. Um, yeah, and we'll leave this as fine. Um, and we can see this is a rough, rough monthly cost. Okay, so let me just come back up and make sure it's important that you, you take note of de these details here. So let me... What I'm going to do is I'm just going to screen grab them. And I know my password is um, password123 with a capital P. Okay, so let's just, what we'll do is we make sure we have, we have a copy of that just in case we need it. Okay, so once you're happy with all your settings, come down here and then click create database. Okay, so this will now take, take a few minutes for it um, to, to be in, I suppose, to provision. So what I'm going to do is stop the video here, and we'll we'll come back here in a minute. Okay, we can see that we're nearly ready here. We can see that's just as the stats are backing up, so we shouldn't be too much longer here. So while we're waiting, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click into my database one, and I'm then going to look for the default security group, which is here. I want to click on it. Okay, and we can see we're actually missing some rules here because we actually don't have the SQL port which is 1433. So let me add the, edit the inbound rules. And I'm actually going to type it in manually. So I'm going to type 1433. And the VPC but we're in is this 172. So I'm going to copy the address that's there. 172. Okay, 172.31.0.0 forward slash 16. Cool. So let's make sure that we're happy with that. And then we are going to click save rules. Okay, so we've now updated our um, MS SQL and we can see it's now open there. Okay, now let's go back to RDS and let's see how our how our instance is looking. Is it ready to go yet? Okay, so I'm going to click on RDS again. Click on DB instances. Perfect, and we can see it's now available, so that's great. So we're now ready to see if we can connect to it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click into my database and I see the endpoint here. So let me copy this endpoint. So I'm going to copy it. And I have a server that's powered on, which is within the uh, same VPC. Now, what I'll do is I'll leave a link below to how you create SQL Server on AWS. And on the server, I also have SQL Server Management Studio on. And I'll also leave a link below as to how, how you connect to how you connect, how you set up uh, Management Studio on your machine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up SQL Server Management Studio here, and we'll see if we can connect to our database instance. Okay, so let's put in our we'll put in our server name, which is the link there. Let's come down and change the SQL authentication. We're going to type in admin, and I call my password password one two three, and hopefully now we'll get in. This is looking positive, and there we are. We are now connected to our RDS database. So that's a tutorial how to set up SQL Server RDS on, on, on AWS. I do hope that was helpful. If you run into any issues, please do comment below. And if I can help, I certainly will. And if this was helpful, please do like and subscribe. And as always, thank you for watching.